Teacher in progress, a student of Makere University, pursuing a bachelor's degree in science in agriculture. This is Kamigisa Elizabeth, as a student of Makere University, doing bachelor's of agribusiness management. And I'm here at Dell Agribusiness and Agrotourism Farm, doing my internship. The fact that I do bachelor's of agribusiness management and it's Dell agro-business and agro-tourism that attracted me to opt for this place and the different enterprises that they have around the farm. What is so special about this farm is that there's much exposure. You do different things and what I like most is that we are encouraged like to do farming as a business. This farm has really changed like my attitude towards agriculture since it looks at agriculture as a profitable enterprise and we've been learning like different ways of how you can make money from agriculture. What caught my attention is about waste management. Actually that is the project I'm working on. Waste management is about utilization of wastes from animals, especially dung and produce maggots from, from it. You can manage your wastes and you earn money from them. Maggot rearing is so uncommon amongst the Ugandan farmers because not so many know the benefits from it. So we mainly use like cow dung and like dung from pigs. So you use that dung, just press it outside on a thin paper so in the process, get, you can sprinkle it with blood to attract more flies because basically in producing maggots, all you need are flies which come into the, the dung and lay their eggs in there, after which they hatch into larvae. From that you get the maggots. The whole process takes like, within two weeks, the whole process is complete. It's special in a way that when you feed your your birds, that mainly poultry, they get lots of proteins from them compared to the other feeds which are on the market and you don't even have to supplement. These wastes uh, are available on the farm so you don't have to spend like to get the wastes so they are locally available. You could, you could get the blood from the abattoirs after like them slaughtering their animals, then that dripping blood, you could, you could get it and you sprinkle on, on the dung. You do that, only that, to attract more flies because they love the stinky places, so they would, maybe, okay, they would be attracted by the blood. And what inspired me is that most farmers are complaining of the high costs of feeding poultry, like buying feeds. And when they get them, they are adulterated, so they end up spending a lot in buying them and thereafter they get less from them because if you buy a sack of feeds and then like three quarters of it is feed and then the remaining part is sand, however much you feed your birds on the most expensive feeds, there is no way they can be productive or give you good results like you expect. But for the case of maggots, all you have to do rear them, feed them to the birds, and you'll get the good results from them. On the grounds that it's dirty or it's not appealing, but focus on the brighter side of it. The benefits you'll be getting from the maggots, it will it will keep you going and you'll opt for it more and more than the feeds. I'm expecting to expand my project so that because currently we don't have like enough manure, enough dung for raising the maggots. Because my friend, uh, like an older bird which is around three weeks, it feeds on like, around 90 grams of maggots per day. So you have to, to raise enough maggots to cater for all the other birds. Then there is also, you know, like in, in Uganda, our, the season variations, the, 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 the time, you find when it is too hot or other times you find it's a rainy season 
and basically maggots cannot be raised in like during the rainy season due to the low temperatures of which for them they require the medium temperatures which are kind of warm so that's another challenge because we are trying to work on a manual about proper ways of waste management but we don't have enough finances for printing out the copies I would call upon for your support, it could be financial support, technical support to keep this project running so that it can reach out to very many people out there who had no idea about it. It's a new innovation, most people don't know about it and we first consulted farmers like in developing the project. So we first consulted them, we know their challenges so the project is going to address their challenges. Of course, it would be so helpful to them.